Okay, in this video, I'll show you how to use Blazing Proxies within Google Chrome. Okay, I'll show you how to use VIP as authorization type 2. Okay, so first of all, you need to access your dashboard here. Okay, and then once you access your dashboard, you'll see something like this. Okay, you need to make sure you select the correct authorization type, VIP, HTTP. Okay, all right, and then you need to make sure that you have the IPs of your server or computer authorized, okay? As you can see, I have two IPs authorized and you need to make sure you wait up to 10 minutes for your IP to fully authorize, okay? All right, so as you can see, I'm already using Google Chrome right now. Um, I have 15 USA dedicated proxies, okay? So I'll show you how to use them. All right, so you wanna select uh, one of your proxies. We'll go with this top one up here, okay? Open up another tab right here. And scroll over to these three little dots on the right hand side of the window. Okay, select that. Scroll down to the settings, select that. All right, and then as you can see, this is the general settings tab. Okay, you want to keep scrolling all the way down. Select the advanced settings, scroll down. It'll be towards the bottom where your proxy settings are found. All right, so it's under the system settings, you'll see open proxy setting. This is what you want to select. Then you'll see a window that pops up just like this, okay? You should already be on the Connections tab, but if for some reason that you're not, you need to make sure that you're selected on the Connections tab, okay? All right, so then you need to select the LAN settings. Select the LAN settings. Um, you want to use a proxy server for your LAN. You want to select Advance right here, all right? And then you want to use the same proxy server for all protocols. All right, so I paste in my IP, the proxy port. What's the port? 3128. 3128 is always going to be the, for the port for IP authorization. Okay. And you select OK. OK. All right. Now let's type in what is my IP. As you can see right here, the IP showed up. Um, if you guys have any questions, just feel free to email our support team. Thank you.